into a character mode. Like he started talking like something. What's wrong with Gucci? Yeah. Come on, Gucci. There we go. Why you come at me for? I was just chilling. There we go. I was, I was trying to build my label and do my do my podcast. <laughs> Six views uncut. Your boy Gutsy Guts. Gucci. Gang, 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 gang. gang. You already know. Songs of the week. We're doing it up big, man. Ooh. Soldier. Come on. Run the tunes, DJ. That's what we play right now? Let's get it, man. We're going viral. Right we going viral. Number one, Nas. Big Draco. Episode 48. Doing it different. Ready? Let's get it. Movie. Viral. Stop playing with my point. Draco. Clap, 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 clap. Make it clap, clap, clap. Make it clap, clap, clap. Six views, uncut. Let's go. Ah, shout out, Soldier Boy, man. Make it clap, clap, clap. Make it clap, clap, clap. Ah. Next song, let's get it in. Woo! DDG featuring Blueface. This is Gucci's song of the week. We moonwalking in Calabasas. Let's get it. 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 Okay. hit that bitch. Old friends like how you get that lit. Hey, woo! Okay. Mama told you we can do a I'm feeling this, Booch. My watch is flooded just like a lake. Lately, I've been showing up. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Sorry, we hype. Oh, we hype right now. Tonight. We hype tonight. They gonna be hype tonight. Get it played tonight. I'm cut, baby. What up, Blueface? I found like Blueface is spinning some bars right there. I'm cut, baby. Okay. Yo, song of the week. Ooh. Young Lava. Town. Town. Bad news, bad news. Shout out to the Rex there. Two my niggas locked, fighting the cake. God damn. Fuck that little boy. He, he a quitter. Like Damien Lillard. He a wizard. Ooh. Boy in a box. Put him in a blizzy. Put him in a uh-huh. backwoods. Uh-huh. <laughs> my niggas don't talk. Uh-huh. My niggas don't roll. Uh-huh. My niggas don't rock. <laughs> <laughs> How many times you had to spin on that block? How many times you had to clean it with a How many times you had to do that? Holy, oh, yo. Oh. <sighs> we getting mixy right off the bat. So shout out to Young Lava who just dropped the uh, Hood Politician mixtape album. I'm not too sure. Free up. That song originally had Moolah First on it. On the Hood Politician mixtape EP. Does not. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on, 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 hold on. Hold on. You said that had Moolah. He, Moolah was on the track. Moolah was on the track, fam. He has a verse on there. And now and he's not on the mixtape. Now he's not. I don't want to go add to any more speculations because I thought that shit was capped last week or a couple of days ago. Mm-hmm. But so, but the version that we're listening to right now that has Moolah on it though, that's from a few months ago. This one was from a few months ago, mm. but originally I couldn't get the one from the Spotify. But if you check his Spotify, yeah, like as you can see right here. Hold on, I'll show you because I'll show Gucci right here. Go up, go up, go see. Yeah, here you go. Bad news, no, no Moolah. Two, two minutes and 10 seconds for the song. Wow. What, why do you think he took off Mola? Like, Mola, because when I heard Mola, and he, he was come fire. So why would he have Mola off right now? You know what? Let me intro the show. 
<laughs> All right. It's your boy Gutsy Guts, Six Views Uncut, episode 48. This is Six Views Uncut again, the episode we talk hip hop, mixy shit, sex. Uh, we get uncut, man, over here. Uh, Shout out everybody listening in the in the listening audience. Audience, shout out all the subscribers, all the members, everybody doing their thing in the Toronto scene. Your boy Gutsy Guts, like I said, and I got to the right of me, uh, Mister Rolling Uppers, Mister um, Lighting Uppers. You know the new soon to be new co-host, Ooh. not even co-host, sorry, soon to be host Ooh. of Six Views Uncut. Oh no, <laughs> it's your boy Gucci. Yeah, oh, man. you already know, man. Shout out to the supporters, man. Shout out to the motherfucking team. We in the mother building, you heard? Yeah. <laughs> and also, uh, over there on the MC side, doing the ones and twos as well. Um, checking in on us, doing the, the, the fact checking and all that. What up, what up, what up, what up? Yeah, I'm seeing. AKA Mr. I need a vacation. <laughs> I need a vacation. <laughs> yes, you do, my G. <laughs> yeah. A shout out Ricky Judd Friday. What's going on, Rick? Yo, I'm here, man. You know what I'm saying? Lava Mike Rick. You know what I'm saying? Hey, the mic hot over here, you know. Hey. Uh, shout out to Mandem. Any shout outs? Um, the team. You know what I mean? And you, the supporters. I have to always repeat myself all the time. You feel me? Of course. The supporters, we, you guys are gang. We love you guys. We see what's going on. Comment, keep coming on every video. Like, dislike, whatever. And the listeners, yo, we love you guys because yo, you listening what's going on. You see what you hear what's going on. You see what's going on. Yeah, you tuned yeah. in, you tap gang, baby. Uh, Friday, any shout outs? Um, salute to everybody who was on the inside. You know what I'm saying? Hold your head. Ooh, yes, yes, yes. Um, salute to, to Alize. New episode of Z-Link out right now. Episode, episode 22. 22. And, um, With um, homegirl from Keep Six Orange. Yes, yes. Salute to Ray Z. You know what I mean? Um, or people people say Ray XY, but it's, it's Ray, Ray Z. Ray right? Z? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, shout yeah, out yeah. Ray Z. I'm going to have to bring her As well as Arlene, Arlene Jane. Really quick, yeah. A shout out Arlene Jane, Zay Links, episode 22. Yo, Rayleigh's really, really beautiful. Is she single? Um, she is not. Oh. oh. She is not. Oh, Check God. out the episode to, to find out a little bit more details on the, her not singleness. Mm, interesting. Mm. Interesting. That way. And just like uh, Gucci was saying, man, shout out the supporters, the listeners, everybody that comments, likes, dislikes. You know, big up yourself. Shout out DJ Krishay, obviously our, mm. our number one listener out there, listening on the, on the Spotify. Shout out Styles by Juicy, listening on Spotify as well. Like uh, me and uh, Friday were saying, show us what listening platform you're listening to us on. We're going to give you a shout out, fam. Like, we out here showing love, of course. Um, And two, it's um Mother's Day, I believe, by the time this or whenever this airs, it will um, be. Well, it'll be a day after Mother's Day when the time this people so start you hearing this. You can't, oh, okay. So you can't just throw up this piece for like Mother's Day? Just a nice little shout out. Okay, well, send it to you. me. That's on you. <laughs> that's on me. That's on you. <laughs> Anyways, shout out to all the mothers, man. The baby mamas, the mamas, single moms, whatever. Um, Just hope you guys are having a blessed Mother's Day. I know this is going to be crazy. Obviously, second COVID, lockdown and things like that. But just bless up. Enjoy your day. Don't care what if you don't get anything. Just be happy to be alive. And if you guys have, uh, you know, demand them. If you guys have a child's mother out there and you guys are not good, like, don't make it hard on her or anything. You know, just bless up the lady on her day. Just give them that day to bless up in all themselves. You know what I'm saying? What is this? For real. Man, the man's giving you know me I mean? mama talks. Oh, I thought you were going to play that boys yeah, to men. But mama, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to all the moms. Shout out my mom, Dukes. JR, you know who you are. Big up yourselves. Yo, like, this is not the thing I wanted you to run because I was going to run. I was going to ask you guys a question, but fuck. Uh, any real Mother's Day shout outs you guys got? Yo, shout out to my mother, man. You feel me? You know what I mean? Mommy Gucci, you heard? You see me, you know what I mean? You see your son. Shout you out on Mother's Day, you know what I mean? Thank you, you know what I mean, for everything you've done. And if it wasn't for you, I would even be here. I wouldn't be even part of right now, you know what I mean? Back door. <laughs> and what a shout out to every mothers out there, you know what I mean, period. Yeah. You feel know I me? Mean? I'm getting another one-on-one kind of experience with you again because, I, you know, like, I don't know. Well, people that do know, like, Friday's mom has passed RIP. <laughs> condolences. How's that for you, fam? Um, it's, I know you're a man that likes to hold up stuff. Nah, man, we gotta get to work and da 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 da. No I know feelings, Rick. Like, Robot yeah, Rick. Like, man's like, you know, we gotta keep it moving, lover. But 
Um, yeah, it's 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 different. It's definitely different. Like you know, I don't actually celebrate the day anymore, but I still do celebrate because I had a mother, right? Mm-hmm. I, and and you know, um, R. I. P. To my mom, Dukes, yeah. and and salute to her, like everything that she did for me, and like Thanks. all the different types of skills and things that she instilled in me, right? Mm-hmm. But I guess I just use it as a day to just host. You know what I'm saying? Even like when she was alive, I feel like now every. Instagram has made it where like people just we just use the holiday as an, another reason yeah, to have content. content. Yeah, yeah, for yeah, sure. You know yeah, saying? you're right. Still, because I was going to turn it into a content piece really quick too. Do you have like <laughs> we're making content? We're right making now. content right now, <laughs> but I was actually using the Mother's Day content piece. So yeah. you are right. Yeah, but yeah. um, do you have like a moment like you and your mom had that was just like this is different? Like you know what I'm saying? Maybe that you never told anybody about. Like yo, mm. she maybe scolded you a certain way, or she saw you do something and she was, like laughed it off or something. Just a moment that you've never talked about between you and your dukes that you maybe want to give to the people that on six views on call. Uh, the first time that she discovered that I was a weed smoker oh, slash boy. weed dealer, I guess the weed dealer part. She kind of I didn't you know. I kind of played off. I yeah, was just like, I just smoke it. But she found like three ounces under my bed. Blood clot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I had it all wrapped up in like a, in a shirt, one of my shirts, right? And mm-hmm. I pushed it under the bed, went on my little mission. Came back. <laughs> I had to sell one of the ounces. You know, like there was a customer waiting for me down the street from my yard. I come back in the crib. The shirt that the fucking things are wrapped up in is literally sitting there on my bed, fam. Oh, man. I go in my mom's bedroom. She's sitting there on the bed with the three ounces laid out in front of her and like on, as a display. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm just like, yo, like, pick one. yo, somebody's waiting for this. If, you know, I don't want to get in trouble because she don't want me to get hurt. Grabbed the fucking weed, went dealt with my customer and I like, told her I'm just holding the weed for somebody <laughs> that I'm not a weed dealer. <laughs> and I'm holding it so I have free <laughs> weed to smoke. <laughs> I have to admit, I smoke weed, mom. Yeah, yeah. And now, here we go, right? So what did so, she say? She didn't say anything? She, like, she, she, she nodded. Yeah, 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 sure. But I'm sure she didn't believe any of the shit that was coming out of my mouth. Of course not. I'm hell freaking no. Caparoo. <laughs> but yeah, man. That, yeah, that's man. But RIP to my mom, Dukes, man. And happy Mother's Day to everybody out there. All the mothers, single mothers, everybody out there who's, you know, dealing with some, some real stress and at the same time getting love from their kids. You know what I'm saying? Facto, facto, facto. Yeah, man. Just like I was saying, shout out all the mom dukes, uh, everybody out there. Uh, pick up yourself. Be safe, man. <sighs> Let's get into this news. Speaking about mom dukes and baby mama drama. Well, we weren't talking about baby mama drama, but moms. DJ Snoopy's been having a very interesting last couple of days. Like he's been shout out Rap Boy Ninja. This is um, this segment has been brought to you here by. Ding! <laughs> Rock Boy Ninja. Subscribe. <laughs> subscribe. So hit, the subscribe hit the subscribe button. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the subscribe button. Make sure you follow Rock Boy Ninja, the hottest friggin' live recorder in Toronto, probably out there. The man has how many faults? Anyways, DJ Snoopy now. I don't even know where this starts. <laughs> DJ Snoopy, I don't know who started it or what happened exactly, but he started going off, I believe, with his ex girlfriend you want me to play one of these yeah bro i have a bunch of them there so <laughs> i just see I believe it. I just I have, open this now for the i believe first i have well I, from rock boy ninja i have what it seems to be what started it so you can play whichever one man because this is just it's a lot <laughs> i hear the dig <laughs> you hear the dig <laughs> <laughs> my dog Baby number, baby number three. You sound pressed. You sound pressed. Like, we ain't having babies over here, baby. We getting that bag. We getting that bag. She's always minding her kid and bitch. Look at her friend. Look at her friend in the comments. Look at her friend. Like, silent studio hourglass. <laughs> These okay, so are the what, days what's, what's of DJ going on here? Because this is like six minutes and change. I know we So ain't. this one is him. <coughs> this first video is him versus his baby moms. So I believe it's his l- recent baby moms that he's had. They were just getting a back and forth with him and his recent girlfriend. And it was just a back and forth that I felt, everybody at least I think felt like very unnecessary. didn't have to happen on live. If it happens, that's cool. Things happen. People don't get along. Yeah. Whatever. That's cool, right? It escalated because like I allegedly, she pulled up to his building. He went downstairs. Like, Hold that. Yeah. 
Yeah. You want yeah. me to play that clip? Is that in here too? Yeah, that's in there. That All the clips are there, fam. Spicy. So Shout out Rock Boy Ninja. So what you're saying, he went downstairs to go see if his baby mother pulled up. Yeah, because she said she was downstairs, so he wanted to see if it was true. So she, his baby mother is going to come and fight. You know what's funny? I'll never I don't do know this who shit. she was fighting. Like, trust and believe. Like, you guys are not going to sit there and keep talking about me all the time. Definitely not. It was your birthday. You should have fucking enjoyed your birthday. Instead, you wanted to bring it about Shakisha. If someone commented, you should have shut the fuck up and mind your business. If you're in love, fam, be in love. That has nothing to do with me, my guy. If I don't want my kids around a dirty bitch like you, that's my business, not yours. If me and Snoopy don't fucking like each other, that's our business, not yours. You should mind your business. Mind your business. That's what you should have fucking done. Jesus and now Christ. I'm downstairs. You said all these things. You bitch. Bitch, Snoopy can stay upstairs. Or can you pause that? She has a point. What are you going to do, fam? Okay. She has a big point. Me being in a lot of relationships that have... Uh, had people that have other or child for somebody else. Yeah. I feel like when you're in a relationship with somebody that like that and they get into a problem with their other ex, baby father, baby mother, whoever, yeah. you shouldn't get involved. Fam. Because like then like you never know if you're not gonna be with that person. You don't know if you're gonna be with that person forever one. Like it's just out of place. Like I don't even feel like <sighs> it's so much to unpack. One as a man you sh your thing shouldn't be say your new thing shouldn't be saying anything about any of your ex things. Mm. Like that that's just cold, fam. Why? Because what that's respect, my G. If you're if your thing now starts disrespecting any of your exes, that means you're telling your thing that. Like you're giving her the ammunition to say, yeah, go ahead and disrespect her on any platform. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and say something about her. That shouldn't be anything. That should be something that you guys have a conversation with. It shouldn't be like but if you do that, like imagine if you guys cut up. Like it's a thing where it's just I, like it shouldn't be like that. You know what I'm saying? Like it just out of respect, mm -hmm. whatever I have with my ex thing, yeah, it, that's with her. Especially if I have kids too, you shouldn't say anything because that could put myself in problems with my youth, yeah, seeing yeah. the youths, mm -hmm. all them thing that. Yeah. I hear what you're saying, so definitely. You feel me? Like but I feel like sometimes like when people are with their new thing right now, sometimes like you're going to have your stories, you know what I mean, that you're going to you're gonna let them know what, what happened with the other thing, why, the reason why you're not together, you know? Yeah. And the other thing's going to have that story that you told them. And then sometimes, yeah, like you're saying, you're going to get out their place, you know what I mean? You should check them for even, like, you know, coming out their place and, you know, seeing why I'll go on, but... But you should tell that you should give them a heads up though. Not to say I, if I show I feel like you, you should, Aguan, yo, if I show you our one, this is me it. and you conversation. What I've been going through with my ex thing. Mm -hmm. That's not your place to say anything. But this is me and you. Just I'm letting you know because I'm I'm letting you into my life. Yeah, fact. I feel you. I feel but you can't be going chatting the things or saying anything about my thing. I have to shut that down, fam. Okay. And yeah, there's more to this. There's a lot more to unpack to this, people. I apologize. Snoopy, I got a big fucking segment in here. Snoopy. So, Snoopy went downstairs, right? So, is this in the same video or is this another one? There's another video where I put where Snoopy goes downstairs. Can you run that video? Because there's a piece, I don't know exactly where, but there's a piece Look of the video you, where. see all detailed and shit. Yeah, oh. man. Mom's well, my cold, dead heart. <laughs> really quick, really quick, really quick. Shout out Gucci for giving us this theory. I didn't yeah. uh, big up. We haven't been here in a while since uh, like episode 200. So it's been a couple of weeks, been a few months. Well, you know, <laughs> shout out to Penthouse. Big up Penthouse. Big up Dolce. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, life's good. <laughs> but yeah. Huh. <laughs> oh, he's a bitch. There's no guy by one. <laughs> my name out your mom. But you're not important. I didn't bring up your name. So no, this is that this is not this clip. That's another clip. No, 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 no. I that that should be the one before. Or did I do a Okay, let me see here. Let me put this one off. Snoopy goes downstairs. Yo, I see it labeled you know, proper by fucking rock boy ninja. DJ Snoopy goes downstairs to confront his baby mom yeah, and his I... new girlfriend almost gets hit by a car. <laughs> <laughs> make her drive off and whoever she's driving with. Here goes a little bit to the beginning. <coughs> God Turn. damn. Go on and like and see what's on. Hold on. I'm sorry. 
his shadow of him walking in the street. In the, in the street is funny. It is funny. <laughs> <laughs> Is that her driving off like a pussy? <laughs> Is that her driving off? Going in life, though. Every co- she's, she's driving off here. I'm driving. Going in life. Going in life. I gotta turn down my mic. <laughs> <laughs> so I make her drive off with whoever she's driving with. <laughs> it's too much. Okay. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Why are you uh, in the dark now? Why are you in the dark? She said it too. Why are you in the dark? I'm outside. What's up? Where, Where are you? Yeah. I don't want to see you. I don't want to see you. Don't worry about seeing. All right. No. I- they low key want to see each other too. <laughs> <laughs> they low key, right? 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 You know, they uh, want to see each other. You know, they low, they low key see each other too. They look, you probably see both of each other. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bro. See, I want it. Oh, I'm busy. I want it. See. I, want, I want to see you pull up. Pull up. You ain't going to pull up. You ain't going to pull up. I really want to see you pull up. All right. <laughs> All seriousness before we get into, like, whatever. <laughs> there's a serious part. No, 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 no. There, there's seriousness because there's kids involved in this, right? <sighs> Snoopy can't meet, like, Snoopy shouldn't be saying, I'm not going to say exactly whatever he said, right? But. Shout out Rock Boy Ninja. This is his job. Well, that's not his job, but he's found a little niche here doing recording, screen recording lives and shit like that, right? People are going to do this. This shit is documented, fam. His kids are going to see this, fam, which is not a good look. Fuck the entertainment shit. Fuck the views, the fans, and all that shit. Reality, my nigga. I'm speaking to Snoopy. I don't give a fuck about anybody else or everything else. No, real shit, fam. As a man that has kids, fam... Your kids are going to see this, fam. And whether or not you feel like, oh, yeah, whatever, it's not a good look as a man to be disrespecting <coughs> your woman in a certain... Your your child's mother. that ki- Your kid's mom in a certain way where it's just like you want them to see them have a downfall. That's not cool, my G. Like, regardless of any issues you have with her, keep it moving, fam. Just for your youth. Don't, don't do this for gutsy. I know you're probably like, fuck me, da 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 who cares? That's fine. But for your youth, fam, check for them, bro. They don't got to be seeing this because in five, 10 years, they're going to pull up on Rap Boy Ninja's page and see this. They're going to pull up somewhere in here and see you disrespecting your, your child's mom, fam. And that, more than anything, not a good look, bro. I don't care who, who it is. That's not a good look. You don't see Jay doing it. You don't see, like, you don't see big superstars doing that shit, fam. As a big, somebody that wants to be a big entertainer, don't do that shit, man. That, that's all Gutsy has to say, like, on that part of it. Charge. What do you think, Gucci? Yeah, you're, <laughs> you're right, though. You know what I mean? Like, it's just, you have a point. Like, it's just something that you shouldn't have exposed to the media. But, I mean, like, what's going on, the media is the new thing to run to, right? So, people want to, ex- they're just looking at what's going on right now. So, he, you know, he wants to get at his point across off right now and show everybody like you know so it is what it is you know at the end of the day whatever you know it's it's his life <laughs> go ahead do your thing to me i don't even but should everything I don't be care. okay that, cool but should everything as a man you think everything should be on on social media like I mean, everything you got to put on live fam? yo listen people as soon as they wake up they're on live as soon as i wake up i see people on live or <laughs> i go to sleep i see people on live so right now media is taking over and I can't really, like, I can't knock them. I can't say, yo, you shouldn't do that, whatever the case is, because someone could tell me I shouldn't do this, I shouldn't do certain Facts. things. You know what I mean? Facts. So at the end of the day, I'm not going to be like, yo, you shouldn't do that, because I have so much problems. Someone could be like, you should have did this. So I'm just, it's whatever. I'm going to stay as whatever. That's what you're doing, you're doing. I'll, I'll pay attention. I'll, I'll, you know what I mean? I'll let people know what's going on, but, but I'm not going to tell you from right or wrong. You but, know what I mean? But as a person that has a platform, don't... <sighs> People get at us all the time. They say, yo, you guys shouldn't be doing this. You guys shouldn't be doing that and blah, 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 right? Yeah. So as some as people that have platforms, some of the criticism we do take in, right? Like yeah. if it's something that actually makes sense, of course, we're going to look at it. Oh, you guys are whack. Get out. This is my show. I'm not coming off my show. Yeah. <laughs> but like, you know what I'm saying? Like other critiques maybe or criticisms, we can be like, all right, cool. Like 
we need maybe we need to fix up this or change the angle to this that's cool mm-hmm. but and and when somebody has a platform like dj snoopy mm-hmm. i feel like that's detrimental to the youth oh fam. for real for because real. they're seeing that and regardless people are like yeah that's cool he's defending himself see, see, i understand the defending himself but he doesn't have to do it like that my g yeah you, see you're coming up like a personal perspective like you know if, you know family love i get that like i respect that that's for sure, like you have a good point, no matter what, no one could tell you wrong. But like I'm gonna just say is like, if he doesn't care, what sh- why should I? You know what I mean? At the end of the day, like if you feel like Holy. you could do that, whatever. You feel me? I don't. It is what it is. You know what I mean? I'm just gonna watch your show, your entertainment, and then yeah, it is what it is. It's whatever. You know what I mean? What do you think, Freddie? <clears throat> I think that sometimes you got to put the phone down, bro. <laughs> the man's going through a book syndrome. <laughs> like, okay. No offense to book. Shout out like, book. But like, I, I feel hear like what it, you're saying, I, right? I feel like it's a... Sorry to cut you. I just mm. feel like it's that. Like, I feel like it's yeah. the book syndrome when books didn't want to come off yeah. live and do certain shit upon everything. It's the same way. But yeah, yeah sorry. I hear what you're saying with like... Um, like, the person, um, you know, you, you, you don't want to be the one who's like trying to tell people what to do or whatever, whatever. Yeah. But at the same time, there's sometimes when you see people that it looks like you don't look like you're in control of what you're doing. Uh, so it's not like you're trying to tell a man what to do. You might just be trying to bring them back to the fucking shore. Like, fam, you're like, you're in the deep end too far, fam. Yeah, yeah. You, you gotta, gotta do yeah, yeah. So I don't, I don't, I don't look at you in a way like, yo, don't be trying to tell a man what to do. And if the audience tried to get at you, like, yo, gutsy, yo, don't try to tell a man how to live their life. And if he said the same, that's whatever. But I hear what you're saying because when I'm on the phone and every time I look and I see... <laughs> Like, however many times a day DJ Snoopy's going live, I understand going live is going to help your followers go up and everything like that. But there's sometimes when you're hitting the live a little bit too much. Yeah. And then the people are going to look at you like they're not going to take you seriously. But it's and also what you're doing in the lives. Him doing, like, him doing the little concerts, him even interviewing um, artists. I seen them, I believe he interviewed Tia Banks. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's cool. That's you're doing the little, the spin the wheel shit. I'm going to have to take that idea from you. Mm-hmm. Them shits is cool. But when you're putting too much personal shit that has to do with kids, I feel like that's too much, fam. Like, yes, like when you're disrespecting your 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 baby moms, you're pretty much disrespecting your youth, fam. Yo, listen, the man ran down. <laughs> ran down someone online with his phone. You know what I'm trying to say? So you know bads are comfortable online. You feel that's me? too comfortable. You know what I mean? When you can run down and say, yo, pussy, I can't see your face, you're in the dark. When you're live on, you know, I mean, fam. The man got <laughs> his chain taken from with top five in the situation, and the first thing he did was went on live. Yo, you don't need to do that, fam. Yo, Who cares? Soci- like, like some people using social media, like on a different scale, on a different level. So it's just, I mean, he's in it, in it. You know what I mean? Maybe he has a PR person that knows something I don't know. Man. He's maybe, in it, in maybe, it, maybe they me? know something I don't know, fam. I don't know. Well, you know what I mean? Like, well, at the end of the day, this is all clout. Good or bad, you know what I mean. So it, it all brings in, at the end of the day, he's gonna drop a new music video or, or do his thing, you know. Like at the end of the day, like it's gonna help him because it's just gonna we're talking about him now, you feel me? So, like, right now, he's in it, in it, you feel me? Like, when you're in it, in it, anything you're just doing whatever on fucking social oh my media. God. Look, 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 this was just there on the suggestion page. Mm-hmm. I don't even want to read it out loud, but a man told him to um, hire the security guard. Shout out, Bun Dog. And if you up. <laughs> so, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it, like I don't know. Again, I, I don't want to tell anybody to live their life. Just got his opinion from the outside looking in. Maybe you might want to chill a bit on the family, the baby mom talks. Like, you know what I'm saying? Just leave that. If people want to talk about it and say whatever, fam, ignore it, bro. Yeah. You know what listen, I'm saying? I, yeah. Listen. Just like you ignore me on the DMs when I'm trying to get the interview. <laughs> listen, I, I, I love the fuckery, so you can keep it up. But I, I, I tune in. I mean, I'm dying as fuck on my couch. <laughs> Imagine talking about, yo, yo, a diaper buddy. Yeah, I was like, yo, what's <laughs> Speaking about diaper Ooh, buddy, segue can we gooch. get it? Segway Gooch. Segway. Nigga doesn't even no know. <laughs> he doesn't even know he's a professional potter right now. <laughs> Nigga in his pod pocket right now. Oh man, she's funny, but nah. Yeah, I hear what he said though. So DJ Snoopy's IG live beefing with new baby girl's baby daddy. 
this is a crazy title. Yes. <laughs> new with his new girl's baby daddy, your ex, he, my son, my soon to be wife. Your ex is my soon. Yeah, your, your ex, ex is my soon to be wife. My name. Your ex. Why you oh. saying what? Oh, your ex is oh, my, my soon, soon to be, be wife. wife. Could be a sick title. <laughs> Fam, everybody's here. Hey, if you call my name, you boy, don't call my name. I ain't into that shit. Don't call, don't call my name. Who the blitz? Shout out, young blitz. No, no, no. I had to let you know because I'm blocked. <laughs> I'm blocked. Never blocked. Never blocked. He just Never blocked. I don't block you. You block me. You. I blocked you. you. Blocked me. you. I spit. blocked us. <laughs> Live. What? Nigga, why are you talking it out your ass, bro? When I said that, then when I said that, then you unblocked me, nigga. So either, either leg of them. Brother, you tagged me. I saw you talking on my phone. I, if you tag me, I can't see it pop up. <clears throat> Keep my name. Keep my name. I just showed you a clip from last week. Uh, we're gonna revoke you, buddy. Get the fuck out of here. You see, press. No, no, Why are you I'm, press? I'm, I don't care about. I don't want her. Good. Press. I don't want to you know your daughter is good. I don't want her. I don't want what that, I don't want that. So just don't worry. You can't have her. She's with me now. You can't have her. You had her. I get it. I had it. Yo, Pastor. So why are you all Pastor like James? Press? Why are you over here Yo, press? Pastor James. Why are you press? <laughs> I'm not press. You're not lying. You're tagging me. This is really messy. <laughs> yes. Yo. Again, I just don't feel like he needs to do that. <laughs> That's on that. One more? Yeah. This dipped into somebody else getting involved. Holy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Shout <clears throat> to Rockboy Ninja. Whew. Yeah, shout out Rockboy Ninja. Rings and your kids don't even have one bracelet. How come your kids don't have one bracelet? Snoopy, how come your kids don't have one chain? I'm going to kick that dog. What the why, why you leave? Hold on. <laughs> this is right at the end. Right? I guess this phone blew out. <laughs> <laughs> no, nigga, I'll punch you in your face. I'm still waiting for you. I'm still waiting for you. How much times have you seen me? I run now. You do a suck dick, Snoopy. You're a bitch ass nigga. No. Stop bothering me. Stop pussy for I don't know free, what the bro. fuck. Who is this bitch ass nigga? Yo, your mother, your fuck, your, your dad, dad your brother. Uh, your brother. Your brother. Your bitch ass brother. Your bitch ass brother. <laughs> the brothers in the sewer. <laughs> Yo, oh. How come your kids don't, don't have don't one bracelet? It. Okay. Oh my god. You gotta love Toronto. You <laughs> <laughs> king. <laughs> Toronto entertainment for you, bro. Sorry, it's no news week. Holy <laughs> shit, bro. Oh I'll man. I'll fucking die. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. 100 watts jumped Ooh. in. I don't know how or why. Ooh. And things got super disrespectful Friday. I think I heard this one go off. Um, bro. Okay. I went on live with Watt. And I explained to him the same thing I was saying. One, I don't feel like... But him too. I told Watt, I don't like the whole baby mom's thing, fam. I feel like the man just need to like leave the women out of it. Let the women deal with their thing, fam. Don't be calling out things like it's funny. Yes, Watts calling her whatever, um, told him Paul and shit like that. But don't do it, fam. Like you don't have to do that. Leave the women thing between the women thing. Between them two, Snoopy and Watts need to have a boxing match, <laughs> or they need to have like a debate. Like somebody needs to hold a debate. You know what I'm saying? When they have the 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 politicians going at each other. Somebody needs to just hold that, like you know, maybe me or you, we host it and we just have them just go at each other. I got like, a one hundred. Like we have this, like as an actual thing where these guys can actually get paid from because this whole thing on live and doing it. Shout out Rockboy Ninja. Rockboy Ninja is clearly gonna be making some dollars after this soon, but I'm <laughs> doing a great job. But like we need to put this on like a maybe maybe a bigger scale. Like this needs to be a versus thing because since like Toronto niggas are scared to go on verses yeah. and do song for song. Maybe Toronto needs to set up like a, a this thing. Maybe they'll do that because niggas have no problem getting on live and just talking mad shit. So maybe we need to do that. We need Triller to holler. Thriller, holler. Triller, whatever you call it. Maybe holler. I think we got something here because Toronto man's love going on live, going back and forth. I think we can do something with that. 
Yeah, probably can because the views are like fam watching thing like somebody told me it's crazy that uh Snoopy's live was like popular like he hasn't been popping like that in a while. And she's like, yo, it's crazy that it was like negative shit that did that. I was like, oh, you haven't noticed how the city works? Yeah. <laughs> Did she just move here? <laughs> I'm like, you haven't noticed? No, she's new to the whole like media shit, right? <coughs> so I'm like, hold on, you haven't noticed that like every time niggas is on there talking oppy shit or niggas talking about this and somebody, that's when everybody's like, oh, let's go over there. But you know, Friday's talking to Kofi and, and Jay Brown. What did that do, Friday? I don't no, know. this. It, it, it got close to 100. It got, I think around 80 something, I started seeing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But but the, but they'll tell you, oh, you're not doing you're not doing positive shit, right? How come how come you always have these guys on here talking this and that in the third? I don't see nobody reposting. Oh, Friday had Kofi on there. Friday had Zora on there. Yeah, no I was talking talks, to Zora about COVID no. and maybe I do. Yeah. So city, you know what I'm saying? You're fickle as fuck. <laughs> Back to the whole beef thing. Yeah. What you think, fam? Should Watts should, should watch get in, involved too? Wait. With, with Snoopy and them? Should, or, he, or should he have just stayed? Or, no, I guess you're going to say, hey, fuck, well, niggas will do what they want to do, right? I mean, fuck. Entertainment. I mean, like, for me, I'm bored. So, like, this shit's <laughs> funny as fuck. I'm going to keep a 100 with you. Like, I'm not going to come here and say, you're like, I... Nah, I don't like what's going on. Nah, I like what's going on. This shit's making me laugh. I'm dying. You can see my face. I was laughing when I was hearing shit. All right, fuck it. But other than that, though, like, nah, like, you know, like. Who's up then? Huh? Who's up? Who's up? Yeah. With this situation right now? Yeah, who's up on the scoreboards right now? Do we have 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 Shakisha? I'll say, you know, I shouldn't even be getting her involved. I'll say, how do watch the way how he's moving at the end? Like, Um, can I quick. Spinderella's already a name of a DJ who's already out there, who's like a legendary DJ. Yeah, for Spinderella salt for Salt and Pepper. So I, I just want to put that out there. But Spinderella, right? Okay. What? What? Is, that's her name, right? Spinderella. Is it Spinderella or not? Let's start Spinderella. I'm not sure how she says it. Oh, I don't know. It's just it sounds very close, mm. and I'm just I'm, be careful. Don't let don't let Spin come for you. Mm. She 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 got a hot lawyer. Mm. I'll leave Snoopy's child's mothers out of this. Do we have Snoopy? Do we have... I don't even want to get... Yeah, fuck it. I'm not getting Young Blitz involved. Do we have Snoopy or 100 Watts? Who's a, winning right now? I'll say 100. Yeah? I'm going to keep it 100. I'm going to say 100. <laughs> is, is the jokes funnier? What is Yo, it? Yo, like? he's funnier. I'm not going to lie. You already know 100. Like, he's going to... <clears throat> He's going to go hab. He has, and he also gets into character mode. Like, he started talking like some. What's wrong with him, Coach? Yeah. Come on, Coach. There you go. Why did he come at me for? I was just chilling. There you go. I was, I was trying to build my label and do my, do my podcast. Why did he call me out, Coach? It's entertainment. You know what? Enter, it's all entertainment, baby. Yeah, see, there you go. That's why, that's why I'm going to say 100 because he's just a real. When he goes in character mode, it's. Every oh, entertaining man. person in Toronto has a terrible laugh. <laughs> but yo, <laughs> me and Freddy can. can well, I don't know. Pick up yeah. Snoopy, though. He goes, but yeah, like, like Snoopy's yeah, entertained like, as fuck. Like, he, yeah, there's nothing the to take about, away from Snoopy. The thing about Snoopy, he's going to come with the DJ sound effects, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> His timing with him. <laughs> I mean, like I heard him talking to the, it was a young blitz and it, he's playing the the young clown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, sound effect, young clown, young clown. clown. <laughs> Did a bad like see, it's kind of like he can always win because he has the sound effect with the DJ shit. Because but, you know he's entertained. Remember a he's couple of months ago, or maybe the first time this happened, mm-hmm. Snoopy had watched the first time though. Mm-hmm. Because remember Snoopy was playing. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. He's like Snoopy, don't play no song. Don't play. no, yeah, can't yeah, sit yeah. up on me. Yeah, and then and then Watts was like, all right, Snoopy. Yeah, all right. And then so he he went back to the drawing board, and yeah. now Watts is now Watts, out yeah, yeah. Watts came back. You know what I mean? So <laughs> now right yeah, home practice routine. <laughs> it's a one-one right now with that whole situation. <laughs> oh, but yeah, let's keep that people out of this. Let's keep baby moms out of this. Like it's mm-hmm. unnecessary. Watch to keep other rappers in the city out of this too, man. Come on, man. Let's not do that. I was going to bring up somebody else because Watts got into another person, but no. I'm not going to do that. Yeah. Big up, Jizzle Star made it. Mm, that way. Big, man. Take. Facts. Does Toronto, have, 
Does Toronto have a respect issue with women? Yes, anybody? Anyone? Do we I'm going to let Gucci go first. <laughs> Co-host? Ooh, all right. So, all right, could you break it down a little bit more specific? Like, you know, like, you know. This, you well, know. we have this situation here where mm-hmm. um, Watts, Watts uh, uh, Snoopy, and other people were just like, at the end of the day, they're disrespecting women. Yeah. Like, even Watts was kind of speaking on his baby mom's issues, and it was just things It's just like, I don't get me wrong. I'm not, I know women can be pieces of shit. Like, I'm, I'm one that always says, it, like, women can be the worst when they want to be, right? Yeah. But is there a time and place where, like, maybe the more entertainers are just, or not even just people in general, like, the man them just have no respect for the gal them, fam. Like, they, they look at women just really, like, a piece of meat. We were talking about it, I think, the other day where, where Friday was saying it, like, yo, what were we talking about Friday? With the friend thing, right? I think it was the friend thing when it was like, yo, was Madam can't even, yeah, when Madam can't even be friends with things because it's just like, nah, that's all shorties need to be is a fuck. Like, yeah. niggas don't look at girls, people in Toronto, like, they just don't put no respect on women, I feel. I hear what you're saying, so, like... I want to see the man, the man, the man, Yeah, yeah, I, I feel like, yeah, you're right, you're right, we, we really don't, because, first of all, we all call every gal a tink. You know what I mean? That's number one. You know what I mean? So if you really really want to look into it, like, we don't really respect none of these girls out here because we, one, call them a ting. But even though they accept that, you know what I mean? Because yes. some gal them are calling each other things too. So they kind of accept what's going on, even though it's a it's a slang, whatever you want to call it. It's, a, it's really disrespectful. You know what I mean? Calling someone a ting. You know what I mean? You're going to call your mom a ting? Nah, you wouldn't. You know what I'm trying go. to say? So, I mean, <clears throat> we're going to treat we're gonna treat them different because i feel like we look at them like they're not loyal that's mm. why we we, we kind of have that they like loyal. yeah we have that we have that they're ego saying. so we're just gonna just have shut them down from the jump like we just already know girls ain't loyal so we're just gonna just disrespect them from the get and then you know if they take the disrespect we're gonna love them like you feel me like <laughs> i don't know like it's like yo if you if, if I could treat you how I could treat you and you accept it and, you know, like, things go that way, then, you know, we just accept it. But, yeah, we don't respect things. The yeah. The man don't really respect things. So where do we start? Oh, hold on. We, we, well, I'm pretty sure Friday. Friday, same, well, same sentiment? Before, like, you know, I, and I, you know, I co-produce a, sh- uh, a show w- with a woman, right? And we deal with a lot of women on, on the show. But that's been a common sentiment. And I've said this on live. A lot of Toronto niggas love pussy, but they don't like women. Yes. Yeah. That's a meme, fam. You need to get that meme fucking app and turn that into a meme. Say it mm. again for me. Hold on. Let me a write lot of there. Toronto niggas love pussy, but they don't like women. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's the way how they think, the way how they want to I got it. I, I'll do it for <laughs> turning it to friday now let me, let me type this in but yeah that might that might have to be well i don't know if you can throw the we'll work it out yeah but yeah man i i think it's an issue fam like man them don't like they can't say they even see it from the states because like states man them if you see like we talk about money bag yo and them the man them are like showing off their shorties and they're like they're blessing their thing like all those man them like they treat their fucking girl like they're whole, like yeah. they're whatever, right? Yeah. Like, so I don't know, like, where is this coming from? Yeah. Also, even to 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 add on to like the money bag yos and all those kind of, of high profile rappers or on you know guys who are coming up and getting mm. more rich, right? Who was it? Um, not Young Miami. The other one. Who's the City other one? girl? JT. JT. She was saying first time when homeboy um little Uzi. Uzi. He took her on a furniture store or somebody, one of them yeah, girls yeah, were saying yeah. they took a took her furniture store shopping mm-hmm. and spent 30 racks yeah. on their first date. And I know it's a little bit <clears throat> like we're not telling the man to go spend 30 racks, but That's it's crazy. like it's just yeah, <laughs> it's just a respect level, fam. Like you know what I'm saying? I'm taking my girl out and I'm buying her shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Nig- niggas would be like, if you tell a Toronto man them that, imagine you told one of your bedrooms that. Mm. They're already Not even shit. a shorty that you live with, fam. Just a random shorty that you're starting to talk to. Yo, I went furniture shopping with her and I dropped like dropped like five racks on her still. 
Drop like 10 oh, racks on her. They're gonna shit on you, fam. There you go. They're like, niggas in Toronto are like, fam, are you dumb? Who's this waste, man? You're yeah. a waste, you yeah. fam. Yo, the ma- you know what the man am I gonna say? Yo, we gotta rob this nigga. Yeah. <laughs> The niggas just start plotting against you, you. Like, like, hold on, you're fucking spending money on bitches, fam. We're gonna stop. We're gonna rob you, fam. Man, <laughs> man's have to hide the flowers, trying to give it to their gal. A lie. Mm. Mm. Talk to him. I'm just saying, like in Toronto, it's more of like we don't want we don't want you. I don't want you <laughs> to spoil your team because if you spoil your team, me that means I have to spoil Wait, my, my team. team. You know what I'm trying to say? So man's want you just. Just don't do that. So if you start showing man that you're doing this and that, they're gonna knock you for it because they're not trying to go through that. You feel yeah, me? Yeah, 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 so yeah. So it's like, yeah. come on, man. Like you know, like fall back on that, that, that's you know that lover boy tip shit. You yeah, feel fam, me? Fam, if you got married with your thing, oh, you got engaged, fam. Uh, now I have to go get engaged with my thing, fam. Yeah. What are you doing, fam? You're messing up the thing, yeah, my G. Fam. Like you're going too hard, bro. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly what they're saying. But yeah, like it's just like that's what it is, bro. You feel mm. me? So it's like I I get it over here, and I mean it's it's the north, it's the cold, it's the you know what I mean it's the cold heart over here. You feel me? So it's like don't really spoil your thing over this side still, because we're not on that. Nah, that's facts. We're not on that. What do we, what do we got to do to change it though? Um, what do we have to start doing to get the man them to show some sort of respect to women? The gal them is gonna have to show love, more love to the man that's spoiling the things. But the gal them are fam. Nah, like, but they're gonna have to hear sh- me out. Like I don't, I've been shitting. Nah, I shit on girls here and there, fam. But I can't say like niggas in Toronto treat girls like shit, fam. Yeah, but like no, 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 it's bad. But listen, the gal them have to run to the man them that's treating them properly. And and they have to show it with confidence. The thing is, the gal them all out here, they're 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 moving like they're idiot too, because they would run back to the same man in the trench, like Facts. garbage, and Facts. and still take the the the, yeah, the hood yeah, and and, you're and right. settle. You're right there too. And settle. You know you're what right mean? there too, man. I, you're right. When while the ship goes down, they'll sink the ship. They know that the ship's sinking. You know what I mean? So. A girl will, it a, takes two to make shit work, right? So they're make, they're gonna go sink it down together. So what do we need to do? We need to have like the gal them and the man them. Should we like do something where we have like five girls, five guys, and we sit down and we moderate and see like the things that both each other don't like about? And we need to like have niggas and the gal them. Like you know what I'm saying? We have to have man them. We can't have like random guys. are like yeah, Fam, you know, it, girl. It, we need to have the man them. Like it's, it's never gonna work at this point because the gal them are gonna just gonna. <laughs> If they see that the madam not spoiling them over here, they're gonna fly out like chair girl, and they're gone and go live their life where the madam will spend. And I mean, there's certain girls that smart. You know what I mean? There's certain girls over here like. So you saying it it's a spending thing? At the end of the day, we have to spend a bag. That's that's the only way we're gonna. The only day women over here will feel respected is if we spend bags. Is that nah, what you're trying to I say? I mean, there's some girls that. If they have a a dude that's over here that's dealing with them property and everything, they're not gonna, you know, and like holding them down, they're gonna rock with them. But obviously, you know what I mean? Fuck on my but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You get what I mean? Look at your girl. She is this chair girl. Yo, shout out to y'all, them man. We just uh, want to put some respect on your name out here. Well, at least Gutsy does, yo. Uh, but yo, some girls get respected out here, but you know, you already know it's just majority of the girl them who's this is always moving from man to man. They're the ones who are not really getting respected out here. So. You think so? Yeah. Mm. Let me not get into that. Shout out to girl them. <laughs> um, let's put some respect on some girl them, man. Just the demand them. You don't have to spend a bag, but just be let's be a little respectful. That's all I'll say. Yeah. All right, so <laughs> last week I reported that um, Guapo three times was finally got caught up too, right? He got caught up. Yeah, he got. He okay, got. He yeah. finally got caught up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Herc dropped the line of the year and said the man's hat did the Bobby. Oh Schmerz. yeah, <laughs> <laughs> he has to come back with that hat for real. For he real. did not though. 
He did? No, so he did not. It because really Bobby Smurfs. the you know, the internet demon came back out on live and it looks like he had somebody new to troll. I can't hear it. Because he's not saying anything. Mm. So he's troll Do you think he's trolling? Mula, eh? <laughs> is there an audio for what you're looking at? Yeah, you have like, an audio audience. I can't hear. I'm <laughs> just hearing silence. No, no, no. Well, I apologize, audio audience. This is back. <laughs> so really quick. Um, Guapo three times went back on live. I apologize. Guapo three times came back on live, and the thing I was just showing Gucci there was uh, his live. Uh, he was on live, pretty much not saying anything, which has been Mula's new thing, right? Like. Yeah. Doing the whole, oh, uh, just not saying anything. Just going on live and keeping quiet. But he did say that the Joker's back. Um, he didn't talk about the situation, but. <laughs> He's definitely not going to talk about the situation. Why not? He has to. Joker's back. The Joker's oh, my back. God. <laughs> Tell Michael I want a verse. <laughs> So, yeah. I guess he didn't get the point. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so he's back on his fuckery. I don't know why he's going at Mula though. Like it's an interesting pick. Like I guess I guess I can see why because like if he gets Mula on live, Mula's not going to say anything, right? So it it's it's something where it's just like, yeah, I can get on live with this guy and he's not going to say anything and I can just be like, yeah, fuck you and da 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 blah blah blah. He's just going to and Mula's just going to sit there like I think it's a little bit deeper than that. Mm. I think it's because it's obvious that Mula's not one of his ops. Yeah. Right? So he's trying to make it obvious that I'm joking now. Oh, okay. Right? So let me pick one of the biggest rappers out here right now and be like, hey, let me go on there and do a little bit of trolling with him so that the wider audience can see that Hey, all this op and shit that got the hat slapped off my fucking head it ain't really serious. Should he, right, right. should he should he have commented on it though on, on the live like yo that's fake that's this and that and the third like he didn't even say nothing on it referencing the the defas. You're saying should he comment on it? Yeah, should have guapo and been like yo that's an old video fam like that was before I got, that's the video that got me started on this shit. <laughs> ah fuck. I don't, I don't. I don't think he should, and it's whatever. Like I feel like he knew that. Ha- like that, it should just happen. So he's probably <coughs> acting. I don't know. Like he's just like he just. I don't know how he's acting right now. He just. I just feel like he's just taking it as whatever, and just coming back on. He's a joker or some shit. I don't know if this is gonna work, man. I don't think. I think it's. It's yeah. It, his, like, his, you know, train, his train has sailed. I feel like, yeah, his run is kind of... Like, his boat has sailed or whatever down. is. His run's over. It, his it, run's from over. the death of, I think even before that, I think HK was taking a lot of his shine. So I think it was just like, yeah, fam, people don't really care about yeah. the truth. Again, I don't think trolling can work in Toronto. I just think niggas is just too serious. They're like going to page. Like they're really... Americans don't deal with it either, but I just think on Toronto level, like they're really gonna like do something to you, fam. So it's just like it's just best you just don't. And he still doesn't have an account. So what? That was like a, a random account he went on it from. Yeah, because the account that um, was his account, like the Guapo three times with the underscore or whatever, yeah, that's still gone. not around. Yeah, 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 that's gone. So that's probably not even his account. <laughs> Who knows? That's probably not even the real him. No, it's him, but he's sliding on a different account or something. Mm. Well, yo, Guapo, uh, I hope you know what the fuck you're doing, bro, because these niggas ain't playing out here, eh? He knows already, man. (laughs) (laughs) Yo, these boys ain't playing out here, man. Uh, We also got, uh, I I don't even think, I think this is cap as hell, but there is dating rumors that Pressa and Corley Ray were dating. And I'm yeah. like, what? I think per 
He got he got shorty hot. Was, I, I was trying to that's say what was precious. That's a good look. That's a good look. What would precious yeah. thing be? Huh? No, because he said big bird. And what would precious thing be? Big big press. Big. Um, can the goose purr? No. <laughs> Big Nova came press. I don't. <laughs> I, I don't fucking know. But yeah, no, um, he's, he's na 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 na. That's that used to be his, his thing his in his thing? in his bio. Na, na, na. Used to Mister Na Na Na. Oh yeah, Mister Na 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 Na. Yeah yeah yeah. You're right, Mister Na Na Na. If they're Dane, that's a W for Toronto. Shout out, we love hip hop, Miss. Oh yeah, you know what it is, Mister Na Na Na. Shout out, we love. Yeah yeah yeah, Mister Na Na Na. Yeah yeah yeah. So yeah, are we here for this though? If he's dating her, Corley Ray. That's a W, man. He's winning if he's win. He's dating her. Yeah, for sure. Smashers, yeah. Friday, same thing. Winners, yeah. They look She's like a, a. They look alike. <laughs> That's no, just cool. to him. <laughs> but like, she's kind of tomboyish with her yeah, look, right? Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And no, just to her neither. But they're both skinny. Yeah. Like, <laughs> and it's cap. Press is dating somebody else, isn't he? Isn't he already with his thing? Because he was yeah. going through a little dating drama i believe to himself i seen like his thing they might have broke up and then got together and i don't want to ruin like the industry like things that they try to do but sometimes they try to date like they try to pair people up mm-hmm. and make like little fake industry couples and shit like that just to try to sell some more records or push a movie or whatever like they, they try to do it with little zan before yeah 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 like didn't they do that with ariana grande sorry well r.i.p or uh, mac miller didn't they do something like no, that i think or that they... was the real thing because like Mac Miller like wrote songs about her after and shit like that. So what about Pete Davidson? Was that a link? That was a real thing too. That was real too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. But they'd be fake cause that be going on. Like they just pair people up and say, Yeah, yeah, just take pictures together. Kanye and Kim were fake too. I don't care how many kids they have. <laughs> that shit was fake as fuck, fam. Yeah. I don't know. I, I don't it could be true, but I I don't know. I think it's just a picture. I don't know. Who else you wanna see? Um who do you want to see, like, from the industry now, of Toronto, they in the industry? And it could be anybody in the industry. Like, I'll throw a knot there. Top five in Dream Doll. <laughs> yeah, I can see that work. Yeah. Or one that, you know, uh, no, uh, uh, hold on. I'm talking about that after. Um... What are some single things out there? Oh my god, single women. Because you just told me this. <laughs> what are some single females out there that we can think of? YG and Chair Girl. YG <laughs> but that's and Chair Toronto Girl. and Toronto. I know, but you know, Toronto and Toronto. I'm just trying to think because I can't think of any single American females because I ain't even paying pay attention to them. Sweetie Americans single. Like sweetie single. Yeah. Who from Toronto could bag Sweetie? Mm. I hear that laugh. <laughs> Any, like who from Toronto can bag sweetie LB who'd baby pepper <laughs> maybe maybe one of them can ba- bag sweetie a lie shout out LB and hood baby pepper <laughs> maybe uh, one of the young boys can bag sweetie a lie <laughs> no yo I mean everybody has a chance to depends how they come you feel me but I mean <laughs> But who could I see? Like, yeah, who in the city could you see with like Sweetie? Really That's a good one. And shout out Sweetie. Um, I seen her on like on on the beach. I believe it was like uh Santa Monica. I can't remember where, but like she was out on the beach performing. And Friday told me like she's going back and getting like vocal lessons and trying to like better her craft. Mm-hmm. I like that because like a lot of artists in Toronto don't do that shit. Mm. So yo, I actually. I can't really say because after seeing Tory Lanez and Megan, mm. you know, I'm just like, all right, anything is possible. Like you could say <laughs> Tory, Tory and Sweetie. I can Sweetie? say LB and, and Sweetie. That, a lie? Now, now I can say that for real. Because Kylie, Kylie was bumping LB's true, no? Mm, yeah. Kylie so. and LB. Ooh, LB. Go on, LB. The, go, go for that. Jumping LB the bag the baddest in the game. <laughs> Holy, he'll never bring up Tekka again. Tekka who, fam? You see my thing is, bro? Are you dumb? My shorty, my girl, my red ham. 
we really gotta stop calling sure these things and stuff, fam. You right. It's, it's all right. No, it's, it's not. It's, fam, it's, you right. It's it, it, it been too long now. It's like they accept it. Like thing is not even a, it's not even a, it's a thing, thing, no thing, more. thing, thing. It's not even a thing no more. It's, it's not a even a it's, it's not a even thing. that serious of a thing no more. Now it's, it's a thing, fam. It's like the same school days. My conditioning is conditioned, man. <laughs> <laughs> so whatever, like shorty, just know, man. like that's, you're a ting, man. Just hold that. Just hold it. They uh, know I'm going. You're a ting, on. <laughs> oh, quick update for you. Um, okay. We were we reported that Drake story the other day, where um, Naomi Sharon, Ooh, the, the, the singer, right? Yeah. The cheese, cheese. Right? <laughs> she, we, you know, and correction also to hot new hip hop or hip hop DX. Hip hop DX, right? There was no studio session. Just a signing. Oh, so he just threw out to sign? Yeah. There was no studio session. So the studio session, well, regardless, he still flew her out, fam. I'm just saying. The cool cleanup, but he still flew her out. And yeah, your thing got smashed, fam. Fix up, fam. Stop, take, stop, stop <laughs> taking chips from Drake, bro. Mm-hmm. Uh, another, uh, you know a couple I know that could work? Chromas in DJ Academics. <laughs> Segway guts. That one, right I think, there. I think you that one could work. You got it. Because you hollered at me. I had a little rumor there that they were saying that mm. apparently Selena Powell was on No Jumper saying that mm-hmm. academics Ooh. got a little new girl. So I was Ooh. like, oh, should I Ooh. not like Adam anymore? But I was like, you know what? I don't even care about him. No Wait, more. I, I got a girlfriend you. because of me? Mm-hmm. Whoever the fuck Chrome Mouse is or Chrome is. <laughs> oh, or they're dating? Yeah, they've been dating for like eight months now. Six months, seven months. They're dating now. Really? They were just in Miami together. I saw them together and I was like, yo, like, yeah. Right. I saw him in person with another bitch. And I was just like, yo. You saw him with Chromaz? Mm-hmm. Chromaz. They were like literally all over. Him. She saw me. She was like, you're lucky I don't stab you. You gonna call the cops? I was like, you Ooh. damn right. I'm gonna call the cops. The fuck? <laughs> damn right. How did this not make it to the internet? Also, huh? I don't know if this podcast like, is coming nobody. out. <laughs> I'm really gonna send this to Ag and be like, yo. I- you hooked him up with his. Dun, dun, dun. Interesting. You know what? <laughs> Let's do it. What are you gonna do? Let me call Chromas. Oh uh, shit. He trying to call Chroma. He's trying to get real, real messy. Real messy right oh now. man, it's Chroma. not even going through. Chroma's not even going through. Like it didn't even get the ring. God damn, Chromas. Too Yo, she's is that Cap? What do you think? Because Selena right? Powell. I, no, 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 don't say that. that that's that's homie, fam. Huh? That's Cronum right there, fam. What? Cronum, like Cronum better fucking open up her phone or do something. <laughs> Let me get that, you know what I'm saying? But yo, you think this is Cap? What? With this whole act situation? Yo, you never know. It could be planned out too, you know what I mean? Because they're. Cronum's smart, you feel me? So, she, you know what I mean? Like. The last I'm not eight months? At it. I'm not looking at it like she's like in love or nothing. She's probably just using it as like a clout way. Mm. Like, like to get turned up a little bit more. You feel me? More people talking about her like how we are talking about her right now. You know what I mean? Because if you think about it now, Axe been kind of low for the last couple of months. Yeah. And Axe always had his eyes on Chroma. Everybody know? always got their eyes on Chroma's fam. So, Who know. doesn't? But that would be... What do you think? Like, what do you think of pairing wise? Do you think like this can work long term? Oh, it could be, or, or you just think it's a finesse thing? You just nah, think it's. I think it's just a, if it's true, I think it's just a finesse thing. It's not no long term. It's more of like, get me, get me, you know, bubbling. It's a relationship bag. It's just, yeah, it's just a little. You get me bubbling, I'll give you some Konani. Whatever how whatever the package deal it is, whatever it is. What is she? She get um she giving him this a crumb? She's probably giving a chrome messy with the toesy. Mm, saying Ak is getting the chrome messy. You never know, you know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Yo, that's interesting. Fam. Probably not. You know what I mean? Just cap in and see what's going on. Friday. One second. One one quick second. Okay. Mm. It, don't, it don't work that way, bro. Keep going. <laughs> so Friday, what do you think? Cap? No cap? I don't know. Caparoo? Damn, video call failed. Yeah, it's not even going through like right, like it's failing you right away. Yeah, sorry. I um this uh just a quick cut in. <laughs> um yeah, I was trying to 
line up the um, phone line thing here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To yeah, one I of our that. things here so that maybe we can... Get some proper audio. Yeah, and see if we can get um, Messi on the phone. But I'll keep on trying. Yeah, we'll, yeah, 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 yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll keep that on the lock for next yeah, little yeah, bit. Yeah, see yeah, if we yeah, can get yeah, that yeah, touch yeah. down. But, but I you, have the line hooked up now, so in case he does call. But yo, what do you think? Do you think, like, good look, bad look, um, cap... I, you know what? When I seen that story pop up on the, on, and I think I first seen it on um, Keep Six Solid. So Keep Six Solid. Okay. I I wasn't surprised. No. No. Because I feel like okay. the nigga went all the way, or she went all the way to fucking um, New York, or New York to or see to, him. To, to Jersey to see him. Mm-hmm. She's a baddie. Why wouldn't he try to bag her? Of course he's going to try and bag her, but at mm-hmm. the same time, it's just like, she was obviously playing, oh, I don't, I don't like, like, why wouldn't you, like, why? She got to would... do that. Why? She has to. She can't just be like, acting like, oh, a nigga, she could just pull up on a nigga and a nigga could just bag her so easy. She's chromas, fam. Yeah, but over the time now, like, you're going to keep it down low that mm-hmm. you're, you're talking to him, even though like. Yes. And then if it pops up, now it does look, looks like a real thing rather than, oh, she was just a smash off. Look, the girl said she was. They've been together for eight months. Yeah. That's not a smash off. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's that's, that's your team, bro. right? So it keeps her integrity intact. That she doesn't just look like a pass off. You know what I'm saying? Facts. Mm. Facts. And it's not like he bagged like a fucking six or something. Chromas is a hottie. Twenty. <laughs> Twenty plus us. It's true. It's and true. He's academics. Let's not forget that. Facts. Maybe this is why he's been feeling himself lately, fam. Your nigga gets paper, bro. <laughs> and he gets chromas. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Imagine you get paper and, and chromas. chromas. That's, that's God damn, that's, ah, what, you winning. Hold on, what would Future and Drake would say? Mm. Life's good. Okay. <laughs> that's good. That's good. That's good. <laughs> Little bitch. Life's good, but yeah, man. man. Um, I think it could work. I think it's cap, even though like I think yeah. Selena Powell's capping, but like I still think it could work. So why would you think she'd be capping about that? Because does she, she have a problem with it? Like they she have has a, a problem history? with Ack. Oh, she has a problem with Ack. That's so right. anything to like ruin Ack or anything that Ack's trying to do, if that would ruin him or any way or whatever, mm. maybe Ack's talking to another girl and the girl don't like Chromos. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah, he's been dealing with Chromos for eight months. Hold on. The girl he's with right now is probably thinking, oh, so you've been fucking her for eight months. Yes, okay. Oh, and then it caused rift between... So you're saying oh, it's that, a mix-up mix up, mix up yeah, situation. Yeah, I think it's a mix-up thing, fam. You know what I'm saying? I could I could be wrong because, you know, mm-hmm. I'm kind of... I've been seeing how left Toronto has been going recently with certain people. And yeah. Certain people, certain, <laughs> thing, certain thing is capping. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. So this would be a very interesting one, to say the least. Very, very... But uh, shout out Chroma, shout out academics, yeah, shout academics. Out. Let's do Definitely another uh, stream. Facts. Also, too, I see you know big up academics. He's back with Complex. He's got a show <laughs> on there uh, on the sticks. We playing like video games and uh, interviewing people. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Who from Toronto does he, does he gotta play a game with an interview? Um, I swear I seen a I seen a podcast of that earlier. Someone playing video game and they're interviewing. It's funny you said that because did academics ever interact with Smiley? Was that Smiley ever on his lives? No, and Smiley wasn't in, in the live. Because I think the podcast that you're spe- speaking of, yeah. Smiley was on playing video games. You're playing like N64 or yeah, Mario whatever. Kart I seen him was playing a game and he was just like. I, I would like to see. Him. I would like to see Smiley up there, out there since he, I know he's out in LA. I, I believe whatever um, is in complexes in the states, right? Or in right. Uh, New York. And a quick Chromita update. She can't call in right now. Oh. Boo. Oh, that's yeah. what she said? Yeah, I'm just, uh, I had a quick talk with her. Okay. Not even 20 minutes? She said tomorrow. I said, we want to talk to you right now. She said tomorrow. She's with Ack. <laughs> She's with Ack. Mm. She's with Ack. You can't even do a two minutes, eh? She's with Ack, fam. <laughs> Chroma, Busy. You just, you just confirmed it for us. <laughs> well, shout out Chromas, man. Shout have out a, academics. Um, the industry work move, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. Cool. No, don't worry. She, I think she hit me back too. Mm. Hold on. Let me see. Mm. 
me see. Let me see. If she didn't, then I'm going to get cheese. I'm not going to shout it out then. <laughs> okay, yeah, 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 yeah. She hit me back. So shout out Chromas. Okay. <laughs> shout out uh, DJ Academics. <laughs> Chromas, I need some new merch too, fam. Drip me out out here, man, since I can send you that back. <laughs> A question I was going to ask too, uh, before we even had all this. Do we think that Chromas fell off? Like, like, has she, like, taken a backseat? And shout out to all the ladies that have been dropping music this year because, like, a lot of women have been dropping music. But Chromas did say in her interview that she was going to be dropping, like, three a, a music video every three weeks or something like that. Yeah. She hasn't kept up, kept up to that. And I don't know. She could have personal stuff and stuff that's going on in her life. But I believe last year, this time, she probably was had, like, four music videos and if i'm correct maybe like a mixtape or album out so is she maybe like is she falling off is she slowing down or maybe is she like trying to make different moves like mm -hmm. do you think she's falling off or i don't think she's falling off i feel mm -hmm. like she's probably just making different moves and you know like kind of like plotting a little bit like you know like trying to plot about what's going on like for later on so I feel like she's just, you know, taking the ease right now and plotting mm -hmm. for the future. I think we need to see more chromas, like, uh, in doing videos and stuff like that. Uh, like, I want to see her do more funnier videos. What do you mean? Like, like skits and oh, shit skits. like that. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Dope. Like, I see her do I something. I feel like, like she could act. Like, yeah, you know, yeah. I, I want to like, see her do acting. And, like, she has the looks already. So, like, you know, I feel like peep, guys in general want to see her act matter you know because mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that's that's even me more sexier you know yeah for sure uh what do you think dren if she's falling off you think she's falling off or maybe she just i wouldn't say falling off but hasn't kept to her word <laughs> yeah. um i would feel like more like it's hard to maintain people's interest for a really long time toronto's attention span is not that big yo yeah so, like, after a while, if you keep on doing the same things, people are going to be like, all right, we've seen that already. What's next? Yeah. But she's also dipped over to, she's crossed over to the States. Yeah, so she needs to drop a super banger for her to really be able to take it to the next level, in my opinion. Feature, single, by herself, doesn't matter? Whatever it is. It has to be where people are not like, oh, she's cute, but her music's trash. Mm. It has to be like, oh, she's cute and... This and is she actually really good fucking music. good. Yeah. Yeah. We got to get one of those from her. Like, I'm saying we've always been like, she's getting better. She's getting better. But we need to hear one where we're like, oh, damn. Is that, is that Chromos for real? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then she got it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I don't want to. We said this before. I tried to push this when we brought up the homie there that day there. Fucking the one that you said his song was trash. The Ghostwriter. Mm -hmm. And... Yes, she she has talent. She's she, her talent. She's getting better with her writing, but even the boy fucking got a pen somewhere along the way. Anybody, I'm pretty sure somebody. Enough people. Snoop Dogg. People, Snoop Dogg. Anybody yeah. had people in the studio with them that said, "Hey, maybe you should do this like this, or maybe yeah. you should like throw this in there." Snoop Dogg had um, badass who used to write for him all the time. Question. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not boozy badass. Not a boozy, yeah. Badass, the West Coast badass. Okay. I don't want anybody to mm -hmm. get the wrong idea about me. Yeah, he wrote that whole song. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Run yeah. that for our break song. Mm -hmm. um, do you think she needs to get signed? Because if if she gets signed, they're going to put a ghostwriter up in her fucking, in, her, in the room with her anyway. All of it, cool. But do you think that might be what's holding her back to an extent? Like, does she need to take that route? Because we always talk about it. Like, certain artists do need to get the signing to get certain things. Mm -hmm. Chromas is a little bit different because, like, oh, she, she's, she's sexy. You know what I'm saying? She's doing the OnlyFans thing. So she has a bag that she can definitely get on her own or, or yeah. to invest into herself and shit. But maybe is that what she needs to? Does she need to go through the label fucking too, maybe? Well, you know, Cardi B is working out for her. I don't Nikki, want to. It worked out for Nikki. It worked out for Nikki, but like I say, Cardi B because she was already doing all of this. She was growing. She was growing on social media, mm. the love and hip hop. Yeah. Once she got signed to Atlantic and she dropped that Bodak Yellow, 
It was it over. different, yeah. my G. Yeah. <laughs> it's juiced. You know what I'm saying? People started really seeing her everywhere. It's, you know what I'm saying? While I was on the way back to the crib all quick fast, I heard on Flow, she said the okay for possibly being in the WWE. Mm-hmm. She's just trying to get bags all over the place. She hasn't rapped in, like, she barely Fine, raps. They're going to give her a mil- on WWE is going to give her money. SummerSlam coming up in August, they're going to pay her to, to come through. Bag, yeah. bag. Bag, bag. So, yeah, I think Chroma might want to do that. Yeah, oh, yeah, for sure. I think that would be a dope little thing to, <laughs> to do is get signed. Go get signed in and, and just take that little, get get knowledge from out there, get the little networking and whatever and see what happens. Facts. <laughs> you think so? I mean, if the right label was coming out, you can't just get signed by any, you know? Not like, Def Jam, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't Not just Def get Jam. signed by any, because at the end of the day, they're just going to control you, right? So, like, once you sign that, that deal, that you have to do what's going on on a contract, so... I don't think she's trying to look at I think she's probably waiting for the right deal. Sorry. The hell is that? My bad. Jesus. <laughs> right, take but, yeah. This line out. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man. Shout out Chromas again. Uh keep doing your thing and yeah, maybe you might have to take that bag, bruh. <laughs> Hopefully not, but Last story I got here, Big Up Hood 6. Hood 6 also provided a story with Guapo. Um, Big Up Yourself, Hood 6, one of the top growing uh, media pages out here. But apparently YG has some words for rappers in the city copying him. So apparently he's going at uh, Sick People and Roadrunner, Mm. allegedly. So Friday, uh, can you pull it up? On On the Hood 6? Hood 6's page. It will be the third post that's up. There's some other posts that's, that's up there about Mr. 35. So, yeah. I think it was a police thing. Yeah, the police hating on him on Real a case that's people, pending. Official roadrunner. Oh, this is a five swiper. Yeah. So, why you rappers trying to copy when you see me doing something way stute, follow oh, fashion, fashion, goofies? Oh, my God. God a big spliff at that. So this is sick people with a big spliff. <laughs> okay. Okay, so I guess he's doing a remix to that. When I shoot this bitch, just know you ain't gonna see tomorrow. I just got me and you know my Oh, corner runner, corner runner. <laughs> that on. sounds fire. Don't lie, Rick. Hold on. That sounded fire. Hold on. <laughs> Let me get my fucking camera shit before we get this shit popping. Because I think I just heard some fire. Did this nigga just touch the... Slam that <laughs> on the floor. <laughs> Let me get low. Slap that. Let's go. Give me some It's runner. It's runner. It's runner. 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 Runner, oh. oh! I thought you were gonna. I thought you were gonna run the original. I'm like corner GG. No, 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 no! I'm let, not that sick. I'm like, oh, let me hear the sick people one. No, 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 no! I don't want to hear the sick people one. We can listen to that behind the scenes. Oh. <laughs> That's very disrespectful. I, I, I wanted. Uh, just, I, I'll tell you this: He remixed uh, "Who I Smoke." You know the song. Who I smoke? Oh. Those guys that in the Florida. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Although we can't that. even write that right now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. He already ran in the first. Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, Who I smoke? I That's guess what YG. Case. I guess what. <laughs> yeah, I'm just remembering when Watts was singing it. Oh my god. I guess YG's point is like he was doing the original with or not original, but he started remixing and doing the covers. He did the Montel Jordan. He did the Cindy Lauper, which we heard a couple of weeks ago, right? Yeah. And I guess he feels like everybody's copying him. 
But I got to know if there's one originally before this because I believe sick people is who I smoke came out before anything. That was the first thing I heard anybody remixing anything. But I would more say sick people, even though he's covering who I smoke, it's more of a new song that's being covered. Yeah. So I wouldn't put sick people in that boat. If And two, this is all alleged because I don't know why. Who, why did he even tag anybody in that? So I don't know why Hood Six is like tagging them. So this is all from Hood Six's, excuse me, post. So why is probably not talking about them per se? Mm-hmm. But these, these two artists are being tagged. Runner, I can more understand because Runner's taking a song from maybe a couple of years ago. But even with YG, YG's taking songs from twenty plus years, fam. <laughs> like Montel Jordan and the Cindy Lauper song are like really old fucking songs. <laughs> Whereas like Slap That's a couple of years, what fifteen, maybe ten years ago. And who I smoke is this year. So is are are they speaking about this artist? Is Hood Six just you know just taking a random allegedly? Maybe that's who he's talking about, or I don't know. Ooh. Anyone? I'm trying to find the, the the tweet here on his Twitter mm-hmm. to see if there's any tags on it. You know what I'm saying? Oh, okay, okay, okay. But yeah, I'm gonna have to get back to you on that because my, my, my nigga tweets a lot. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's an avid tweeter out here, man. He's doing mm-hmm. his thing in the tweet, the tweet world. Salute to the tweet gang out there, Twitter gang. Um, <laughs> listen, fam, it does no. It, it looks like it's a lot of assumptions that he's going at them niggas from because I from if I can't find the Twitter thing mm-hmm. to see if he even tagged anybody on the Twitter, the post that we're seeing on Instagram, he could be talking about anybody, fam. You know what I'm saying? Like. I don't see it like, like me too like I just don't feel like he's getting at anybody I think it's random that they would think I see why they would try and put something together but mm. if he's not actually saying it I don't think they should actually yeah, put them on like that you know, got, not to, to this those guys that um, the hood six because they're doing a, a great job yeah yeah, yeah thing, but amazing like, amazing out here when it comes to the city you got to make sure that you got all of your facts straight before you you start posting you know what I'm saying well, who knows? Maybe they know something that we don't. That's also true, right? But from even for us, like, until we actually know, you know what I'm saying? And at the same time, these guys are all from complete different hoods and all types of stuff. So I'm sure it's just rap shit in the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. There's got to be a reason for it to be serious. And, like, when, when they're not from opposing hoods, they don't get that serious. It becomes just more rap shit. Okay. And I, and I rate that. Yep. Yeah. Well, yeah, keep it um, on wax, guys. YG, the friggin' <laughs> the leaks that you've been leaking out, fam, to the remixes, <laughs> amazing. Keep them the fucking up. <laughs> yeah, he, uh, keep that up. And whoever else, like, keep up the music, man. I like the city just dropping more music. Keep doing that. Mm. Uh, <laughs> you want to take a little break really quick? Yeah. Before yeah. we get uncut? Um, do you need to? Because we could keep going. Uh, yeah, just really quick. Okay. Give me five minutes. I'm gonna take a piss too. Yeah, to the mic, to the mic. You're gonna have to learn the hard way, stuff. You know what I mean? Because I mean, I don't have homegirls, so I can't say. But I'm just saying. You know what I mean? They might have to learn the hard way, stuff. Slippery. You can't just be like regular with it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you gotta be slip outstanding. Yeah, fam. You don't, you don't work that way, bro. You gotta have the girl that like, holy fuck, bro. What was that? Especially if you're one of them niggas that it's like, your MO is like, yo, you tear down things. Mm-hmm. You better tear down things when the gal them see you, fam. Yeah, like me, if I, if I go in, if, I, if you guys get single guts, and then I'm out here not digging down the things, and I'm just like, fam, why they going to He's lying, fam. Lying. It's He's not no ah. freak. I fucking met him. I told him to fucking lick my puss, and he got scared. I said no. <laughs> Are we recording? <laughs> You're recording that part too? No, 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 no. <laughs> 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 no. So, uncut, episode 48, we got uncut. Sorry, you guys didn't hear it. Too bad. Um, <laughs> question I got here. I got a, a few uncut questions. One, a female wanted to know, do we tell our female friends when they're being cheated on or if they're being cheated on? 
our female friends? Yeah, like our female home girls or like I don't know if you any of you guys. Do we tell our, uh, like should, do you tell them if they're being cheated on or if they're getting played? Like you can see it. Like you can just see it. You probably even seen the nigga somewhere with the chick and you're like, oh fuck, fam. Do you do do you tell? And what about your homeboys too? You tell your homeboys when like uh, shorty's cheating, or is that snitching too? Oh, what, tell your homeboy. No, you gotta you gotta let your homeboy know. Like, so yeah. your homeboys you let know, but your homegirls you don't. No, I don't have homegirls though, so that's the difference. Like, you feel me? I can't speak on that question. Nigga, you need to put more fucking weed in there. How you? <laughs> so, man, yeah, <laughs> Friday, since uh, Gucci doesn't have any female friends. Are you telling your female homegirl if she's getting cheated on, fam? If she's getting cheated on, that's a tough one, though, because... Yes, mixy. Um, it's always mixy. We got to... <laughs> I've had an issue in the past, or not an issue, I've had a situation in the past where I, one of my homegirls from back in the days... Mm. Her man, me and him, used to hang out. Mm. Right? Like, I met him after. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I know her before from time from when we were kids. Oh, okay. Right? But, like, we'd be out on these streets going crazy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Waking up in a bathtub, all type of shit. Like, oh, I was gonna say wild shit. Was gonna you know what I mean? Them type of times. That's when I used to drink. You know what mm. I'm saying? Going to pick up strippers from all, well, paradise mostly. Sue paradise. Um, <laughs> but yeah, when she'd be like, yo, where's so-and-so? I'd be like, I don't know where he is. I ain't seen him. Niggas, <laughs> niggas right there getting the thing fucking, <laughs> yeah, baby. He wasn't with you. He was. And then we separated and I see him because I couldn't do it. You know what I mean? I couldn't be like, yo. Nah, man, me and him just bagged like fucking four fucking gal and it was a crazy night. Like, I couldn't do it. So we don't tell our homegirls if they're getting cheated on. We just allow them. The homegirls, they have to learn the hard way. Yeah? To the mic, to the mic. <laughs> they're going to have to learn the hard way stuff, you know what I mean? Because, I mean, I don't have homegirls, so I can't say, but I'm just saying, you know what I mean? They might have to learn the hard way stuff. Yeah, I'm in the same boat still. <laughs> like... This, yeah. this goes back to why we gotta maybe put some respect on women. <laughs> no, it's not even a respect no, thing, though, fam. I don't want to be the rat, fam. But it's like, but if she's your homegirl, fam, if she's your homegirl, though, she's riding with you. She's taking, you know, she's putting things up her thing when you're on road, like. Nah, because okay, that's so. That's your. You gotta give levels to the homegirlness, bro. Listen, that that that's is, a real real rider. I'm saying a rat, fam. You, you, fam. The man them have things that they don't smash. I hope, mm -hmm. but well, not even. I hope I don't care. But like they don't smash. But they're like the road dogs, fam. They go on road. They do See? road. They go OT. They do moves together. See, fam. We seen somebody in it doing a robbery the other day. Well, not we seen, but like, you know what I'm talking about. Listen. Nope. <laughs> anyway, we see the picture of so, so we know shorties are out there doing their thing, right? Yeah. So yeah. like, if you have a shorty like that, she's just riding with you, she's rolling with you, whatever. Like, I don't see what like she's getting cheated on. She has a man, and she's riding with you every day. You guys are making money together, and you just see your man on yeah. road, and he's you know touching up real sexual yeah. with the next thing. It's just like, sorry, shorty. If she didn't see, I didn't see stuff. Mm. That's what it is. But if it's the man, him is different. Like I told you, like, <laughs> there's a there's a little filter when it comes to the gal, them. You feel me? Like mm. you know, what I mean, little filter. I was like, for the man, them. Like I, there's no filter. I'm gonna show the man, yo, you, yo, that that thing was it with that. You know what I mean with that man? When it comes to the gal, them, I, that's my closer. When it comes to the man, them is just different. Like you know, it's just like <laughs> I have to show the man, them. But the gal, them, I don't know. Still, like you know. If the girl, if we have that type of relationship where we're that close, I might have to be like, yo, fam, your, your homie's, he's, he's fucking around. Because she, she might she might turn around now and get super emotional and fuck up the money. Mm. So, I, you know, like if we're that fucking close, like that you make money with me and we're fucking out there on road, like that type of life. Yeah. That's a kind of a different level. You know what I'm saying? If it's just my homegirl that I that I talk to here and here and there and you know I give advice to, I might be like, yo, 
you know, watch yourself, but I won't be like, hey, I saw a homie walking on the street and yeah. you walk. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm not telling you nothing for him. Right. Like, yo, that might be mine. But yeah, I'm not telling. Sorry, Shorty. Like, you got to find out on your own. I didn't know. I actually think that happened to me. Like, so one of my homegirls was like, yo, you didn't tell me. And, da, 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 da. and he said he was with you. And so I'm like, well, one, he's dumb for fucking ratting me out. And it's not my business to talk about you guys' relationship, fam. I can't get into your relationship because if I do tell you something, and you're like, okay, you go to him, and then you're like, you still want to be with him, then I'm the one that looks fucked. Yeah. It's just like, oh, like, you know what I'm saying? And that's how it always goes, too. Then she's going to end up wanting to stay with him, and then he's looking at, like, yeah, eh? The person I was cool with, I was trying to, you know, like, I'm trying to flex with you, and then I'm doing my thing, and then now nah, you're just because you, you know, you have a relationship with my gal, you're gonna mm. show her, like, all right, I'm just she's still gonna be with me, but all right, you done know. Even if it's the other way, even with it's my brethren, I don't talk my brethren either because I don't get into their personal space either. Because I get, I don't want to give the pussy ass nigga no love, <laughs> but I told my cousin one time, like. Yo, actually, you know what? Yeah, I'm going to expose this dumbass nigga. So he had this little girl. He was talking to his thing, right? This is his girlfriend. And she was like cheating on him with RIP one of my cousin's homies. Oh, you getting personal. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. We, we were fucked up back in the day. So I'm trying to tell my cousin, yo, your girl's cheating on you, fam. Like she's taking money. Like you're paying her and she's going, taking and spending it on my our homie like every other week, fam. So he didn't believe us. We I got my homie to three way call, so he called. So we called the homie and he called her and like, yeah, what are you doing? So you're gonna see me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what are you gonna do? You're gonna sit on this then da 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 da. While my cousin's listening, fab, he's listening to his girl say, yeah, I'm gonna suck on this da 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 da. Are you? You're gonna go get money from your boyfriend. I need some money to buy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna see he's getting paid da 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 da. He's hearing all this. All right. Hold, oh, <laughs> hold the fuck on. So you're saying I'm basically if I was in his situation, I'm hearing my gal talk yes. about I'm gonna suck a neck next man's hood. for free. Wow. <laughs> for free, by the way. She's Fam, not, she's you're just, making she's... the man lose bare sleep. Oh no, no, the okay. whole... hold on, I'm not done the story. Oh Listen no, to the story now. But, but, but wait, it gets worse. Oh yeah, it did. So. The things that so the conversation done right after hearing all this, he's hearing his girl say this and that and the third. She's gonna go fuck suck this and that oh, and the third no. without fuck. rubber, oh, that all hurts. kinds of things, oh. right? So so then here's the tip, right? So we all had or me and my cousin hangs up the phone with him. My cousin's like, "Yo, you guys still there?" And I'm like, "Yeah, man, this is fucked up." So I go as I go, "Yo, you see this nigga tried to swing on me? <laughs> Not even tried to. He swung on me, fam. For real. He, then you I go, hurt. "Yo, you he heard hurt. the man swung on me, he fam?" Was, and I'm was, like, "Yo, what the?" Embarrassed, fam. He's pissed. The man was, he was so pissed. Cheap. He was pissed. That was that's. Fam. So yeah, I don't tell people their business. No, I try to stay out of people's oh relationships. Stuff. Yeah, yeah, I see stay why. Stay out of the people them relationship, fam. You're not telling nobody nothing. I'm gonna see, just Whoa. like you said, she ain't see, I ain't see it. Facts. Facts. Oh, yeah, and same way for the man. The man didn't see, I didn't see it either. That situation. Oh my. You can be right in the club and the man can see your girl walk by with somebody and I just look at him. You see it? No? I didn't see it either. My bad. <laughs> see, that's a change. You change your life right there. Right? Like, you go Christian? <laughs> go get baptized? Oh, no. Like bombs. <laughs> Uh, you're hearing, you to be you're hearing, you're hearing like your show you're doing now. Oh, no. <laughs> oh my mad. gosh. Um, last thing I have here. <laughs> okay, let me how get this story right. <sighs> let me use Friday because it's Friday single. It's easier. So me and Friday, oh yeah. So Friday, I'm I'm on the net. I see uh baddie. Super baddie that you might know or might be aware of, right? You have a conversation or you you just you just interact with the shorty. Anyways, long story short, I see this shorty and I'm just like, yo, this thing is bad. Like I'm obsessed. Like I Friday, you have to link me the thing, fam. Yeah. Please, like put in a good Friday, please put in a good word for me for mm -hmm. the thing, right? Friday puts in a good word now. And the thing's like, honestly, Friday, I'm not really feeling guts. I'm feeling you. Okay. What's your next move? Do you smash the thing and make Gutsy feel 
gives me feel like a way and you even tell Gutsy like yo she's not feeling you and I, I kind of digged it out still Friday seemed like a man that would do that yeah <laughs> wow <laughs> like, you know, Res- <laughs> I mean the old Friday let me say the old Friday seemed like you would be a guy like I look at his like respect I it out respectfully there's some shit my bro would do though my bro's done that to me still. respectfully no that doesn't respectfully he he's just letting you know face. he's letting you know After she's though. not feeling you and she's no. feeling me and I had to smash respectfully no that's not cool fam why is that not cool? That's what? not cool, fam. Why? Like, you didn't get a chance. I'm feeling the it's... thing, fam. I mean, she's feeling... Yes, but she's not feeling you back. There's a million fish in the world. You were... She she's wasn't baddie, even in your though. radar, You fam. said she's a baddie, though. Yeah, but she's Come not on. even on your... But she's a baddie for me, so you know how I like to boost. But, yo, you... <laughs> but listen, listen, listen. If the... If the... If, the, <laughs> yeah, he's if, you that if Fridays, like Friday said, if the booze cables was in and the thing was really a baddie, <laughs> the <laughs> booze the cables. <laughs> oh man! Okay, you see, you make it a real fucking tough situation because I could say, you know what? Let me go tell Gutsy first. She's not feeling him, and then circle back and fucking blow her back out, right? Mm. But then the opportunity to blow her back up might be now gone. Yes. Right? She might be like, you know what? I, I In the moment when I was throwing the pussy at you, I felt like doing that. Now that you told him that, you know. I'm not feeling him and shit. Like, now it's like. And, nah. and not even that. Just the moment's gone. I don't fucking feel like giving you the, this this amazing. Box. And it's and it's not a booster. She's actually as, as hot as the nigga say. You know what I'm saying? And like. <laughs> yeah. I'll, 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 it makes it kind of tough. So I might have to respectfully knock her fucking her, her head off. <laughs> blow the back out. Blow her back out. And then be like, guts. I try to tell her, but she threw it on me, fam. What would you do? Not take it? So I have this issue, right? Where my brethren, he's upset with me because I never told him about this situation. Aww. So back in the day, I must have did the same thing, right? I must have told the thing. I don't even remember. But he's like, yo, fam. Like, I always, he told me, like, out of the blue, he's like, yo, I always felt a way that you smashed the thing. I was like, what thing, fam? He's just like, yo, the thing from back in the day that I told you to go holla at for me, and you ended up smashing the thing. You didn't even tell me, fam. She told me after that you digged it, fam. I was like, oh, say a word. So in my head, I was just like, should I have told him? And would it have made a difference, even if I did? Like, I don't think it would have made a difference regardless because you still wouldn't have smashed. But it's like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it's like, would I should have told you? Like, yeah, she wasn't really into you. That way, he would have not like he would have probably like stopped trying to holler at the thing. Yeah. Right? yeah, you should have said that at least because that's the thing. If you're into the girl, the girl a lot, right? And like, I don't fucking give you the heads up that I knock her, knocked her down. We're using some really shitty terms for these ladies today. Having yeah. sex. I, I didn't let let you know that I you know gave her the Willy Bobo. Uh, <laughs> like that's any better. <laughs> Willy Bobo. Then now you're fucking you're simping, you're chasing her, still calling her down, mm-hmm. not knowing that she's like coming from round two and round three. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm laid up looking at you, texting her down, like look at this simp ass nigga. <laughs> right? So I gotta tell you, digging it, and all you see is gutsy or don't answer guts. <laughs> <laughs> Don't answer it's guts. Why aren't you texting me back? I'm there giggling. <laughs> what are you saying? You're busy? <laughs> I gotta tell you, I can't it's let you live like night. this. <laughs> busy night tonight, eh, Shorty? Hard at work. I like Gucci. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> she, she, she's looking, she's showing you the phone like, look, he's calling again. <laughs> it's him again. Like you, at some point, you gotta tell him. You gotta tell him, like, he's being annoying now. You're done, you're spliff. You're like, I'm recharged now. Let's go again. <laughs> <laughs> So I have a question for both of you guys. Yo, would you guys smash your your Bredgen's ex thing? Yeah, and and, and even if she's bad and she's trying to holler at you and she's thirsty. We, and we she's showing about, you videos. We spoke about this already. And yeah, wait, wait, I would. Yeah. You would? Yeah. That's you would. I, I would. Would you? I would. Why wouldn't you do that? And she's showing you videos and she's just like... Well, yeah, cause it's she's respect. showing me it videos. Just, it's just more of respect of... I'm not I'm saying I wouldn't. But I have. Okay. I have to. Right? I probably... Yeah. 
Yeah, now I wouldn't because like I don't have a lot of friends. Yeah. Like you guys are my brethren, so I wouldn't smash any of you guys' thing, right? right. Like, I'm not smashing her. No, no, I'm saying X. Or even, X, well, even X, the X thing, X, I wouldn't do it. X, I wouldn't do like, it because I'm not talking about now. Like I think I'm a little three bit years more mature. down the line. Yeah, 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 like no. four years down, I, she's just like I'm more mature now. Where it's just like, nah, I wouldn't do it, yo. I I even feel a way like having like friendships. Like I do have like a friendship where like one of my homies, him and his him and his wife actually did it. Like whatever, they got a divorce. I don't yeah. know if divorce, but whatever. They just didn't get along, and I'm friends with the wife because. But that's kind of his fault because he like. He brought her in, fam. Yeah, he brought yeah, her in yeah, like one of the yeah. niggas. Had her okay. in the group chat and shit. Yeah. Like, right. told you no, nigga, don't do that. <laughs> but like now she's in the group chat. She's talking with the man them. We're family, fam. So now it's just like it's hard for us to cut her off. Yeah. So like I don't talk to her as much, but I still feel a way just having a friendship with her because yeah. it's like, yo, fam, like you and the homie don't talk and right. it's weird, but. It is what it is. But yeah, back in the day, I'm smashing your, your ex thing still. I'm saying that because I had like a situation. No, well, it was ba- basically my friends. You know what I mean? Like I had a brethren that he had his mm-hmm. thing. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. In high school, he was, that was his girl from Ray Tay Tay, you know, out of high school. And then they broke up. And then, you know, he moved on. Ray Tay, she moved on. And then one of the man them <laughs> end up smashing the, his thing. And keep smashing and then telling the next man, I'm like, yo, you could smash it too. But not That's telling, not telling the, the homie. man, the homie that his thing is moving like that. And he still kind of like sneaks through back door and smashes one once in the blue. But he doesn't know that she's smashing the man. Mm, that's messed up. And then he found out after because when the man said, yo, man, you know, you're saying, he's like, yeah, <laughs> like, you know, like, you know, and you yeah, heard that's it. Mash he up, says, that's my shop. You can't do that. So. <laughs> Don't do that. Fam. Let the man know your things are fucking squally wag, bro. <laughs> but mm. this is X thing. It's X thing. It's X Actually, no. It's if it's X- your X thing is a squally wag, then no. X- like, X- if, if your X thing oh, okay. It's that puts, X thing, okay, not his So this is different though, Friday, because what he's saying is actually true. What if the X thing is actually a slew, fam? That makes it kind of difficult. <laughs> yeah, like you know what I'm saying. That's different from your ex thing. Just because it's your like yeah, now you got to right? warn homeboy, like yo, fam, <laughs> that girl that you used to be in love with, she's kind of a fucking scally. Why do you have to warn your ex? You no. So, why do you because have to he warn might your still be in love with the chick, fam. <laughs> But you just said it's but like years after, though. Yeah, he moved years on. After. He if has you moved kids on, with the next girl. And nah, he okay. moved on. Like, okay, as if he's moved on, you know. But like that, he still like, well, not probably. If your thing, like, you listen, if your still, thing is in a strip club, after, okay, it's it's levels too because you said they were in high school and then yeah, they smashed like years after. Yeah, yeah. That too is different. But let's just say, okay, like we're talking now within the last five years or so yeah. of friendship and we're like in our like, let's just say 30s. Yeah. 30 plus. Yeah, yeah. I think that's where you like, there's a line there. So you want to t- you want to show if homeboy team, like yo yo, yo I'm not that's showing. your ex. You're not, you're just going to slap it up and then yeah, yeah, well, what do you show you at the brethren that know her like know the whole setup like you feel me like or are you just going to keep it to yourself I'll keep and it this, to myself. Okay. So his problem was <laughs> he didn't talk too much. Yeah, his problem was he got caught up he didn't keep it to himself. He had to show the man him like yeah, yo yeah, his yeah. Talk too much, my boy's old thing I'm smashing and then it, then, then obviously he spread in and it went back to my boy and then my boy approached him like how come you couldn't show me and I'm hearing from you know uh, he, you know what I mean but they laughed it off after but he was kind of cheesy you feel me but I'm just saying like well, what were you doing in this situation like I would personally probably show him I don't know like I never been through that but I'm just what would like, you do if a nigga smash your ex though like at least show me like whatever i'm cool with but it like that's my ex. but if he didn't show you and he smashed it, it then like, whatever i'm not your gonna homies told you to <coughs> feel away about it and i'm like yeah like i'll be shy like i'm like yeah like you know same thing but like i'm not gonna go mad at him and it's like whatever i was like whatever like if he doesn't want to show me you just be like yeah hey i was watching my bitch the whole time <laughs> hey i knew it <laughs> this is what it is but you know this is how some people deal with it you know <laughs> Some hey, people man. are savages out here, so it is yes, what it yes, is, yes, you yes. know. Niggas are dirt bags. Shout out my dirt bag all stars, man. Yeah. Straight up. Uh especially you know? if you grow up or move it, you know, how do you wanna get your attention? Shout out all the loosey gooseys, man. <laughs> Shout out. <laughs> Sound like you're a ball. Sound like you're a ball, um. That's how we got here for you for episode 48 of six views uncut. 
Man, do you want to give them your social medias and let them know how they can get a hold of ya? It's your boy Gucci. You can find me on my Percy, my personal page, Gucci416. And you can find me on my business page, Claire Star Studio 6. And yeah, you already know, man. Shout out to the team. Shout out to the supporters. Gang, gang. It's your boy Gucci. Gang. Gang, 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 gang. Thank you. Also, look, 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 look. look. It's not foggy this time. It's not foggy. Nice, right, Bieber? For real. Yeah, nice, right, Bieber? Yeah, Friday. Yeah. How can the people get a hold of you? Um, hit me up on my social media platforms, Friday Ricky Dread, that's D-R-E-D. Make sure to hit us up on our Instagram page, We Love Hip Hop Network, and we love hiphop.ca for everything else. You don't know it's your boy, Gutsy Guts. Follow me all social media platforms, Gutsy Guts, the real Gutsy Guts on Twitch. Uh... No, fuck. Mr. Mr. Gutsy Guts Guts on Twitch. The real Gutsy Guts on TikTok. I'm fucking that up, bro. Uh, Gutsy Guts on YouTube. Make sure you follow, subscribe, like, comment, dislike, do all that stuff. Listeners, make sure you hit me up. uh, A screenshot where you're listening so you can get a shout out. And yeah, come on, help me out. I should have did this at the beginning. But yeah, if you're listening for the next episode and all the episodes before... Keep listening, repost, share this out. I want to get like high up there in the listening audience. Let me know what you guys want to hear us talk about. Yeah. Topics, conversations, people you might want to see me interview in the next three weeks or two weeks because I'm out of here. So make sure you like let me know. I want to get like top something by, by the 50th episode. Let me get in one of these countdown lists, yeah, the highest the, list. You the know. iTunes star ratings. Yeah, so hit, hit the iTunes star ratings, ratings, all five star ratings. Let me get that going, man. Like help okay. me out out here. B. Um, Friday, pull out the out, out, outro tune. Uh, you. You're going to love it. And yeah, man, Toronto, be safe. Uh, again, members, subscribers, all that. We love you. And we get the hell out of here. Salute to Snoop. Salute to Badass. Yo, what's up, nephew? What's up, what's up nephew? nephew?